computer. Okay, welcome, welcome to part two of our super supplement training. So to this segment is going to be about uh, the anti-aging supplement. So the uh, part one that is already recorded and on the YouTube channel is Marianne did the oil for oily skin, all the oily supplements, and then Trinity, right before she had her baby, uh, did all the masking. And so we learned a lot about those last week. So I wanted to kind of touch on some of the anti-aging and then the and then some, because there are some that's for everybody. So, you know, that didn't kind of fall into those other two categories. The first one is the biocellulose mask. And I love that mask. So you could do that once a week if you want. You can do it on special nights um, before a you know, special event the next day. It is for hydrating. It's for lifting. It's uh, infused with coconut water and all kinds of good stuff. If you ever, when you get those box, I'm not going to say if you ever, because everybody needs to try it because it's for all skin type. But if, um, when you get the box, there's four masks to each box. I just did a spa basket and I, that was one of the spa products that I put in there. So there's four masks and when you, they're very squishy and it's loaded and it, the mask is infused with all kinds of good stuff. And so what you can do is it's got a mesh and you pull the mesh off and then you position it on your face and then you pull the outer mesh off and then you just take the extra and just rub it all over. Always take care of your neck, your chest. This right here when my mom was alive and she broke her back and her arms, she was in a rehab for a little while getting her back you know, ready to, you know, to walk again and stuff. And her arms just really, really wrinkled right here. She was thin, just like me. And it made me start really thinking about the arm area. We all know about this right here and we talk about it, but we never talk about the, and this is what everybody sees. And so I always rub the biocellulose mask all over the, these areas. And so lifting, it's for hydration. When you, when you actually put it on, it's heavy. But when you leave it on for 30 minutes, you're, you actually witness just by feeling it, all your skin just really sucking in all that good stuff. And so when you finally peel it off after the 30 minutes, it's feather light, it's just super light, which is amazing because that, that means your skin just, just kind of, you know, sucked it in like a sponge and just really went to work with it. So love that biocellulose mask. Mary Ann and I talked about the wrinkle filler today. When we were first trained on this, we were told, you know, fresh skin, fresh, clean skin, a woman's six targeted areas, which is a wrinkle areas, by the way, is one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's still the same. That's where it goes. That's where the spackling goes. But it's written when you look at the product order of application that Marianne said it goes after your serums, like your serum C and your lifting serum. I've all, and, and we, so I'm going to try it that way because it's written that way. And I'm actually going to call the company and get clarification on it because this isn't the first time we were told something in training and then it was written differently. I don't know if the error comes in the, the writ, the, you know, the, the stage training that we'd get at seminar or leadership or if it's a typo. And so we're going to find out. And uh, it would make more sense to put it after the serum because it's the thicker. And that's what we're always taught, thin to thick. But, you know, it is what it is. So we're going to get that cleared up for you. And hopefully we will know for sure. But that is an amazing product. If you're not showing the before and after of that, of Tori's thumbs, uh, you definitely need to be showing that because you will sell that just by showing the, the two thumbs side by side. Amazing, amazing product. It has a retinol, it has retinol in it. So it acts as a filler at first, but over time it acts as an iron and it literally irons out the deep lines and wrinkles. Another great product to use with that is if you don't have, have one pulled out for your demo and for yourself, you need to pull this out, is the, the Skin Vigor Up Brush. 
because when you are cleaning and believing as you old, get older, this starts to happen. You, um, in your character lines, that's where the dead skin kind of gets trapped and it really magnifies those lines. But you can take your skin vigorant brush and really clean out that area. The skin vigorant brush actually cleans your skin 85% better um, than your, your washcloth using it with your cleanser and so use this with your cleanser and you're really gonna if you've got a, an older woman who is starting to get those six targeted areas get her to really clean out those lines so that um you, you know you get those the dead skin all that dirt and grime out of those areas vitamin c squares holy cow that's another supplement you can do that twice a week with your serums your vitamin c serum and your lifting serum you can also use it with your tone corrector and with your pore uh, minimizer. The company has come out and stated the most effective serum that works with the serum C, no, the vitamin C squares, is the lifting serum, okay? And uh, this pure vitamin C. So we, we, this is already on my video for Michelle's turning 50. Watch my mini Mary Kay mini facelift. I go into details about you know, you just drop three drops of water, mix it up really, really good, and then you pump in you know, like two or three pumps of your whatever serum, and then you just kind of really get it in there, really get it in there. Always do the neck and the chest, and that's lifting. I mean, it's lifting, it's firming, amazing. You t definitely tell the difference. You have to, if you're not using these products, you literally have to get into that habit. It takes 21 days to form a habit, good or bad. Get into that habit of using these supplements so that you fall in love with them because you will sell them if you're in love with them. I sell Serum C. I sell the Biomask. I sell the Lifting Serum. I sell the Serum C, Vitamin C, Serum C, all that toning lotion because I love them. I wear them. And, I, you know, the brush, you have to have those things. Go through your inventory, find out what you do not have, and put, it, put that on your list. Get a demo, get two, two or three to sell. Get a demo, get two or three to sell. You sell what you show. This business is not complicated. It's that simple. You show it, you sell it, okay? I had a girl who accidentally ordered 11 Onyx eyeshadows one time. Guess what I told her? You go put Onyx on everybody. She sold them. She sold them. That's what, you know, you hit one and then you hit one again, you got 11. <laughs> but that's what you, you've got. And you've got a lot of something you need to move. You show it. It's, it's, that's, you control your sale. It's that simple. All right. Um, so we just talked about the vitamin C squares. And those are great to hand out as a little, in like a little, you know, it's $12, $6 our cost. There's, how many are there in there? Six, Marianne, are there six, 12? There's 12. Well, okay guys, so that's not, that's not bad to give away. And put a, you know, put it in a little goodie bag with a serum C serum and say, this is a spa treatment for you. That's how you get people hooked on those kind of sets. And serum C and vitamin C squares, that's over 70, 80 bucks for those two things. That's a nice reorder. Um, every couple of months, okay? Be a smart businesswoman. The value from eye cream, I'm calling that a supplement because I want everybody to always remember that is the most powerful eye cream that we have. It's 10 times more powerful than the other eye creams. So when you're sitting there with an older woman and she's, even if she's oily, show her that it's the same price and because you know, make sure that she's going to stay young looking in that, in those areas. Talk about that Zaymac tip, zinc, aluminum, magnesium, and copper takes down the puffy eyes, the dark circles, all that. Um, let's move on to oil-free hydrating gel. That is a partner product. I wouldn't say partner, but it's the opposite product of the intense moisture cream. We usually sell a lot of that in the winter time. It's literally water in a jar. Oil-free is for oily skin, and intense moisture cream is for dry skin. They're the same product, for, for, but for different skin types. This is the app order of application for that. If I'm going to try to remember this. If you're oily, yours goes on before your moisturizer, okay? If you're dry, 
your intense moisture cream goes on after your moisturizer. It seals in the deal. If you're dry, and this is something that a lot of the nationals, the older uh, nationals have been doing for years because we've always had the extra moyant night cream around and it does wonders. Um, remind me to tell you what the, a lady from corporate told me the other day that's in medical services about extra moyant eye cream. Anyway, so a lot of the nationals do it under, they put their eye cream on and then on top of that, they put the extra moyant uh, cream over on because it's so thick and emoyant. It just literally seals that in. And so I was talking to someone from medical services. Uh, she called me, you know, just checking on some of my customers because of some of the sheen that was on faces at when once the 3D first came out. They're so good about checking in to make sure that you haven't lost a customer. And we were talking about the benefits and the power of the extra moyant night cream. And she was like, I, she said she had some kind of skin issue. And one of the nationals said, Hey, well, you should put extra moyant night cream on it. Boom, healed it up just like that. And uh, I'm like, we're all, we're like, what is in that stuff? Like nobody knows what's in it. <laughs> we really do. But we don't know why it does all these miracle things like diaper rash, uh, you know, healing, uh, acne, not, not acne. Uh, oh gosh, what is that? Shave, shave, razor cuts. I mean, it's right in here. It takes away the wrinkles right here. I mean, it heals diabetic feet when they're hard and crusty and bleeding. I mean, dry hands. It's, it's just an amazing product. So it's got some miracle stuff in it. So that's another benefit that you could do with extra moyant night cream. If you're oily, dripping with oil, do, do not put this on your face. But all the pioneers in Mary Kay that are dry, they used to just smack that. They just, that, they just sealed in the deal. And they're beautiful. We see them. They're, they have no wrinkles. So when you get to be dry, do all your regular stuff and then just smack some extra moyant night cream on there and just seal it in. Almost like, a, hey, it's almost like, Courtney, it's like our, our meal prep. <laughs> you put your seasoning. <laughs> I'm freezing it. All right. So those are some of our uh, oil-free hydrating gel intense moisture cream. And then let's talk about tone corrector because the tone corrector, I don't think gets enough attention right now because there's so many brightening products or brightening ingredients in our skincare line. But for those of us who dealt with, you know, the hormonal mask, the pregnancy mask, that will come for all you millennials. Um, sun damage, all that, uh, it's, you get all this discoloration and the tone corrector is not really made to be used by itself. You always want to incorporate it with a skincare regimen. Remember, that's it's like putting the cart before the horse if you just sell someone a tone corrector because she still has all that dead skin sitting on top of her face. She's not using sunscreen, which is going to keep it coming. And so you teach her the proper way to take care of her skin. And then so you've got all the brightening stuff in your 3D Miracle set or your Body Firm set. And then you're using this extra supplement to, you know, to kind of speed up the evening out process. And it just works wonders. It's amazing. Tori loves it. Like Tori swears by it. And I, um, it, it, I mean, it's navy bean. It's got the navy bean. And Mary Kay had a patent on that because we were the first to figure out that, hey, the navy bean brightens skin. And uh, so it's, it, if we've got a patent on it and we know it brightens, it works. But make sure that you are not doing your customers, um, you know, a disservice by just selling them a tone corrector. You know, teach them, like I said, the proper way to keep this. It didn't happen overnight this uneven skin, and it's not gonna go away overnight. But using the proper steps, you can keep it at bay and always have beautiful, even skin, okay? Uh, soothing eye mask, that is, you know, just a great little product that you can even, you know, keep it in the refrigerator, keep it chilled. It literally takes down puffiness. I was at a skincare class one time, and a woman had cancer, in the eye area and they had removed the tissue 
under both eyes. So she had like really naturally puffy skin. So we were at a skincare class and we were talking about puffy skin under the eye area. And she said, nothing works. I've tried everything, you know, ever since they, they had removed the tissue underneath her eyes, had cancer. And my hostess said, you should try Mary Kay soothing eye gel. Um, I have some chilling in the refrigerator. So of course we get it out and I told her we, we put it on one eye and I'm like, please work. Cause honestly it works with regular eyes, but I had no idea what medically had happened to her eyes. And I'm like, I don't know. Do you still have tissue there? I don't know what's going on. We put it on one eye and it went down instantly. Everybody, everybody got an eye cream. You get a, you get a soothing eye gel, you get a soothing eye gel, everybody. Um, and I mean, it's amazing. And so, uh, Tell your teenage boys, though, it is not a Mexican dip. <laughs> I had a customer. She caught her son about to dip. I mean, it's this big, really? He was about to dip his chip into it. Boys. Boys. Was it my boys? They know to watch out for uh, skin care in the refrigerator. <laughs> All right. Facial cleansing cloth. Those are great little, neat little uh Actually, marketing, you can marketing, you can like cut them in half. They're 30, cut them in half so you double the size, put them in like a little. I have some cute little bags. Oh, here they are. Cute little bags like this with your little gift card. Uh, put them in the uh, gyms, like if workout gyms, and say, put your card, a gift certificate, and one of the little cloth cloths, and describe what it is and say free cleansing cloth. And so you spent, you know, what are they, 20? 25 24 dollars you spent 12 you got 30 cloths you turned to 60 cloths that's a pretty nice little thing to, to market great for flight attendants great for people that travel um, to go with their luggage even if they have their regular cleanser at home they can travel with their cleansing cloth because it has the three-in-one cleanser infused in it okay so it is a cleanser are they going to make it a four-in-one I don't know I don't know if anybody's even talked about that, but as far as I know, it's still on the list that you can still get it. Am I right, Marianne? Okay, because I think I just ordered some from a customer. Um, but those are great little marketing tools and great for your customers who travel, like I said. And we talked about extra moyet night cream already. Um, so, Marianne, do you want to talk about anything? Because you probably had some tips too. Yeah, so... <clears throat> The things that Michelle already covered that I had on my list are some of the, the body products to go to complement your perfumes. And so we've always learned that layering same scents helps to um, prolong the scent. So like if you have the matching body wash, scrub, lotion, and perfume, the scent is going to stay longer. Now, it's really not cost effective for our company to make a wash, scrub, and lotion for every single one of our perfumes. So what I do like is that just the Mary Kay wash and shave gel and the Mary Kay body lotion that come in the pink and white tubes, they're very um, just gentle and generic. That they, they really go great with all of our perfumes. Um, I will say that I like the white tea and citrus body collection specifically with the cityscape. Those tend to complement each other absolutely beautifully. It's, it's just real subtle, but it's like, for me, it's, I love the bottle, so it feels very modern and chic. So when I'm wearing the cityscape with that, I just feel like so fresh and so sharp, you know? So it builds my confidence, knowing that I smell good. And um, it also goes well with the white diamonds because it's a floral scent. Um, and then, let's see. Um, I think that was the only thing I had down that you didn't. Oh, I love it. I love that you switch your perfumes up. I am such a, I get one and I stay with it. And I don't know what, what it is about me, but like even when Riley, if Riley smells Ballara on anybody, he'll say, that reminds me of you going to Mary Kay meeting on Monday nights. Aww. And so like knowing that he, him saying that as a little boy, I just like, I stick with, not that I wear Ballara anymore, but I wear like, you know, I switched over, but I just kind of stick to one because smells trigger memories. And so yeah. I'm, I'm kind of loyal to that, but I love that you, uh, that's very intriguing to me. It makes me want to go out and switch to cityscape because I love the scrub and the, the body. Wash. Yeah. I love that. Now, what did you say goes with the hot, the, um, two-in-one wash really any of them just because it's so 
basic, you know, it's yeah. real simple and it doesn't linger as much. Yeah. Um, but especially I would say, um, thinking of you, the one with the blue what is like perfect for it. Cause those, yeah. those scents are really similar. Yes. And then, um, also the, what is it? Enchanted Wish, that one opens up with the Granny Smith apple scent, which is similar to your white tea and citrus. Yeah. So that is kind of fun to put together if you're ever putting together a basket. And then what other scents do we have? Do we still have just regular Ballara? Okay. Oh, yeah. That one's always an interesting scent. So I don't know. Figure it out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I, I always that one on a whim. Always we're thinking of is it thinking of love? That's what I always wear. Think one? Yeah. Thinking of love. That was that's real one sweet. I wear. Um, that's my go-to. I used to love Mary Kay Tribute. Oh my gosh, I love that. People still ask for it. They'll come back out with it, I'm sure. All right, so we have some questions about uh, the 3D. Um, let's see. I can't, I don't have my glasses. Morgan was asking because she has um, combination to oily but still some dry spots. And yeah. so... Um, I asked if she was still using the combo. She said she quit using that one and started using the bar and the oil free hydrating gel, which that one, if you have people who have a reaction to the 3d, those are the alternatives to switch them to. Like if they try introducing it slowly and just still having like instant breakouts, burning, itching, um, switching them to the cleansing bar. That one works for everybody. Yeah. Nobody has a problem with the cleansing bar and then serum C for your anti-aging. And then your intense moisture cream or oil-free hydrating gel, whichever one's best for their skin, if they can't do the day and night creams. And then, of course, making sure they're wearing, like, a CC cream and a primer during the day to get some sunscreen until, like, maybe their skin can try it again later or we figure this out. So at least they're still head-to-toe in your Mary Kay brand, like, if it's just dire. <laughs> so, um, but I told Morgan to try switching the combination oily cleanser for the normal one and still using the combination to oily day and night cream. If that still wasn't hydrating enough for the night cream, switch to the normal to dry one. So you're getting extra hydration while you're sleeping. So that way during the day, you can still use the one that controls your oil. So that way you're not shiny during the day. I've played with all kinds of combinations. So that's how I know. <laughs> yeah. And Mary is the one to ask because like she said, she had to do that. I've always had just dry skin. So it's yeah. All right. Very good. Now I've, you know, next week, what do you guys think about we do glamour supplements? Um, yes. Okay, so we'll do glamour supplements next week. Wait, hold on, next week. Yes, next week I'll be in. It'll be the next week we're in career conference. Okay, yeah, that sounds good. So we'll do glamour supplements next week. You guys don't let me forget. Any questions? Any questions about some of these? I do. Melissa, are you talking about, what, what are you talking, what product are you talking about for the, your comments? Um... Okay, so the uh, soothing eye gel is good for the no, um, when you're coming out of the dentist and you have the uh, numbing shot. It will take the swelling down out of your cheek too. Wow, that's awesome! What? <laughs> oh yeah, well it's got the menthol in it, <clears throat> yeah. and that's all your skin uses to reduce the swelling is the menthol. That's awesome. Um, now, the um, intense moisture cream that when um, Michelle was talking about when I first jumped on, that was a trivia question at Dale's success meeting a couple of months back. And it is the original moisturizer Aww. that was ever created by Mary Kay. So I can see that, yeah. Whatever miracle she put in it, it's still there. <laughs> Are you talking about the extra mullion night cream? Yes. Okay, yeah. making sure. Yeah, that really thick pink one that used to be in the satin hands. My set. mom had it. It was in a jar, like a yes. pink plastic jar about that big. And it, you had to take it out with a spatula. Yeah. Oh, I don't um, in it. Now the... Um, Something about motorcyclists. Oh, the... Um, Face wash cloths. I have a couple people that I know that are motorcyclists and they just need something to shove in their ditty bag to wash off when they get wherever. 
Um, the guys, they'll put it in a Ziploc bag. The women, they don't, they don't care. But um, one of the women just started handing them out one time and she came back to me and she says, I need about five sets for our next road trip. <laughs> You know, you're not the first one to tell me that about bikers loving that, that product. Um, I had a consultant that used to sell to this biker group, and I think that was what they kept buying, too, was the mm -hmm. facial cleansing cloths. Isn't that funny? I mean, they don't, if you over-moisturize it, put too much water in, you don't get a very big lather. Yeah but you get enough so that you can wash and go. That's awesome. I cut mine into four pieces. It, there's just so much on there. Yeah. It's mm -hmm. ridiculous. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't know yeah. you did that. Very good. Any other questions? All right, so guys, we, uh, I'm going to stop the recording because we're going to talk about finishing your star. We got a few minutes and hang on just a second.